Hey, Will and Alex, I thought I'd send you a quick video postcard here uh, on the theory that a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, give you a little update on that Benchmade project that we discussed a while back. What I did was, uh, as you remember, I, I wanted to replace the um, solid backspacer on the 710s and on the 705s with barrel standoffs, which is something that Benchmate has been going to in a lot of their more recent knives. Uh, the 806-901, for example, maybe some of the other 806s have got open construction. Uh, the 950 Rift has got open construction. So I ordered up some spacers from knifekits.com, and uh, I found spacers that are correct for the 705 and the 710. I didn't find any that were the right size for the 707, which is even uh, even thinner than the 705. For the 705, I used some decimal 140 backspacers, uh, barrel spacers rather, and you can see those here. They're, uh, they're kind of plain. They were threaded for number one screws, and the screws that go through the uh, through the scales and liners on the 705 are 256. So I had to drill those out, um, which really wasn't a problem. It's a, little, it's a little bit finicky because they're so small, but other than that, it's it's not a hard project. Uh, I like the way this came out. I like the open construction. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to have taken uh, any hit in the rigidity area. Uh, so you get flow through dirt there. You just blow it right out. Uh, the only reservation I guess I'd have is if, if uh, heaven forbid, you kept this pocket knife in your pocket and you had keys or coins or something like that, I could see the edge of the blade could uh, definitely take some damage that way. But as, if you're carrying it somewhere clipped uh, where it's not going to have any interaction with any other objects in, uh, in a pocket or something like that or in your backpack, then that would be fine. Um, 705 uh, is a decimal 165 backspacer. Knife kits had several choices. This is what I wound up ordering. I think they look fine. Uh, these were threaded 256, and I just threaded them right on. Uh, it sounds like it wouldn't work, but uh, because you're you're threading the screw into the sp into the spacer and then into the liner on the other side, in practice it worked out great. Um, everything seems very nice and rigid. I was a little bit. I was wondering whether I would lose something in terms of handle rigidity on the 710, which is bigger. In practice, I really can't tell the difference. This is what came out of the knife. Uh, a couple holes in the stern for the screws, and you can see that there's a lug that holds it in place at the forward end. The 705 backspacer is uh, a smaller version, but essentially identical. So that's how these came out. I think it's a... I personally like the look and I like the function. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to get your knives converted, let me know and I'll order some spacers for that as well. Uh, or if you want to leave them alone, that's fine too. Hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, boys.